Okay, this time we'll have a look at how your calculator uh, can be used in classic mode and in math print mode. So, quite simply, press mode. Okay, and you can see you change to degrees, radians, and gradient. Okay, and you can have it in normal mode, scientific mode, or engineering mode. And you can determine how many decimals you want your answer to come at. So, float means the calculator will round it off. Zero means your answer will always come back with zero decimal places, one decimal place, two decimal places, and so on. But down the bottom here, we'll have a look at classic mode. So we'll go into classic mode. Okay, so we should be in classic mode now. Now if I want to make a, a um, fraction, classic mode puts it as five, six, Okay, like that, and then I can multiply by, let's go, 8 over 3. Okay, and I get my answer like that. Okay, now there's various reasons why you might like to do that, but that doesn't really match with how we set out in maths. So myself, I prefer to use math print. Okay, so math print, if we do the same calculation, 5 over 6, you see it looks like a fraction and then we're going to multiply by 8 over 3 and we get the answer 20 over 9. So while we've got that, while we're here, we'll have a look at how to convert that to um, a mixed number. So that's an improper fraction. Let's convert it to a mixed number. So you press your second function, then you press this button here. Okay, just have a look at what the code says above. It's a um, uh, normal fraction being converted to a mixed number. Press it and then press enter. And then if you want to convert to a decimal, just press the conversion button down here. Press it again, back to a fraction. Okay. Uh, and up here on the table button, second function, press table, and it will change to a decimal as well. Okay, thanks for listening.